it's so especially here on the island sometimes if you're overqualified you know they tend to make things a bit difficult for mm. you so i didn't have to start let's say from scratch but i had to show myself i had to show what i'm capable of mm -hmm. Hello, my people, and we are back again for another sit, sip, and chat. This time, we are here at Pure Ocean at Divi Little Bay Resorts. Guys, we already been through this. We are here for the St. Martin flavors. We are visiting different restaurants on the island that are participating in this event. We're getting some information on their chefs, getting their stories. We're getting some information on the restaurants themselves. I'm gonna show off and show you what they what they have serving. And then you gotta make the choice on what you're doing in November, all right? Like I mentioned, St. Martin Flavors is an annual event that's held throughout the month of November. We're celebrating the island's vibrant food culture from the traditional Caribbean dishes to modern fusion cuisine. The event highlights the diversity and creativity of local chefs and restaurants. And for more information about the event, all you have to do is visit stmartinflavors.com or you can email the SHTA at events at SHTA.com. And like I said, today I'm here at Pure Oceans at TV Little Bay Resort, and I'm sitting with Chef Julio Haynes. Said it correctly? Yes. Okay. I'd like to make sure I get people's names correctly. No, it's perfect. Okay, so my first question is, because the restaurants that we've done thus far, they've been locally owned restaurants. Mm -hmm. This one is on property of a hotel. Correct. Okay, so first is, how did you get into cooking? Well, cooking, I got into cooking when I was um, um, inspired by my, my mother. Mm -hmm. She's always in the kitchen. Uh, she loves the kitchen. She, sometimes I make a joke with her and I even tell her, you know, I'm gonna put, the kit, I'm gonna put a bed in the kitchen so you can sleep in the kitchen <laughs> since you like to be in the kitchen so much. But um, yeah, growing up, watching her cook and eating her flavors you know it really inspired me to choose that path mm -hmm. so um i went i grew up here uh, i went to mpc and after mpc i did the marvel and then i went to further my studies in holland okay which i followed my culinary um passion passion uh graduated in as chef mm -hmm. and I stayed working with the same company that I did the stage with for like six years. Okay. Yeah. What so, school did you go to in Holland? Mondrian. Mondrian. Is that like a popular um, culinary school? Yes, it is. Okay. And how yes. was your experience in Holland learning the cuisines and then? It was good. It was really good because um, uh, you get, in, especially in Holland, you have a... Um, you have a lot of different types of cuisine, especially um, with the company I was with is three owners, which they own different types of restaurants. So basically, uh, I would work, let's say, one year in a French cuisine, then they would move me to an Italian cuisine and then uh, to a Dutch and Mexican. Okay, so you yeah. just have different experiences and different types of... Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. That is very cool. And then coming from Holland, learning all the things that you did in Holland, the different types of restaurants, when you moved back, how was that journey then? It was good. It was good. In the beginning, it was a bit, uh, I wouldn't say difficult because... Cultural shock also works when yeah, you move back home. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's all, especially here on the island, sometimes if you're overqualified, you know, they tend to make things a bit difficult for mm -hmm. you. So I didn't have to start, let's say, from scratch, but I had to show myself. I had to show what I'm capable of. Mm -hmm. So I started off uh, as a sous chef in a restaurant in Simpson Bay, which is an easy restaurant. Okay. Italian. And um, I stayed working there for like uh, two years. And then that's when I came to DV, started off as a sous, uh, sous chef. Mm -hmm. And gradually I worked my way up the ladder, executive sous chef, and then eventually executive chef. There we are. Yeah. Now you're a head chef. And now you're not just the head chef for Pure Ocean, because we had this conversation off camera. 
Not just Pure Ocean, but you're the executive chef over all the restaurants Correct. on property. Correct. How is that journey? Because then you work for persons that had different restaurants. Now you are responsible for different restaurants. Yeah, yeah. How is that? Uh, I think that's kind of like a full circle moment. How has that been? Well, it's been, uh, it's, 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 for me, it's pretty cool. It's, a, it's an adventure. It's, um, I'm someone that I like to, I like to see new things and, and be challenged. Yeah. So for me, in the beginning, it was a bit, it was a bit difficult, but um, eventually you get into it because uh, you, first of all, you need to have a strong team, mm -hmm. which, uh, which can support you. And in my case, my guys, uh, they're phenomenal. Nice. They're strong, strong. They support me. Uh, so it makes, it just makes my work a bit easier because I just have to oversee the operation, oversee them, make sure everything is running smoothly when it comes to events, mm -hmm. weddings, functions, uh, uh, beach dinners, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Okay, nice. So what would you say is your favorite thing about being a chef? My favorite thing is, I would say, showing my guys things they don't they they've never seen before um try and teach them as much as possible uh show them a bit of what a bit of what i know so i'm not someone who holds back my recipes mm -hmm. i share my recipes with everyone so hmm. if it's uh, in the future that same recipe they want to use when they go abroad or wherever then they can use it exactly because i like that because that means you're a good leader because then yeah. you're trying to make sure that those are under you that are progressing in their career as well. Exactly. Very exactly. Cool. And what is your least favorite thing about being a chef? My least favorite thing, I would say, is the long hours. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's uh, sometimes I work 12, 13, 14 hours in a day. But I wouldn't say it's the least because it's part of the job. Mm -hmm. But if I would put it in a category, I would say it was the least, the least favorite because some... I'm here more as a chef. <laughs> you're, you are as well. you're here more with the team than with you with your family. I would imagine that would take its toll after a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my one more thing I want to know because I like to ask chef mm -hmm. these questions is um, the chaos in the kitchen yeah. because those of us that watch series, there's the you see the chaos behind the scenes that the customers never get to experience. Yeah. How is dealing with that as the head chef? You, know, you need to know how to balance it off because let's say for instance, you're in a rush. We have a full restaurant mm -hmm. and we have, a, for example, today a wedding. It gets hectic, why? Because there's so much going on at the same time. So you have at the front, you have the waitress or the waiter wait, waiting for the food, which is taking a bit too long. Yeah. But then in the kitchen, they get a little backed up because of so much orders coming in. So that tends to, to create a, a, a flare in the kitchen, which um, the stress goes up and everyone's um, yelling, I need this, I need that. And the waiters, uh, they keep coming back for yeah. food. It's not ready. So being in my position, I just need to be able to keep everyone calm, keep everyone cool and make sure everything flows smoothly. Because let's not forget, uh, if we have uh, guests that are waiting too long or yeah. unhappy, it's, it's, it's bad for everyone. It is bad because for everyone. Because we work in the industry, it's, uh, we got to make sure the guests are happy, that they have everything they need. If not, then everything goes downhill. So, yeah. You are not wrong. You are not wrong. Guys, I'm here sitting with Chef Julio Haynes at the TV Little Bay Resort at Pure Ocean. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. episodes premiere every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 p.m. on TV15 and across our social media platforms.
and we are back my people i'm still here talking to chef julio haynes of pure ocean what well, i it's not of pure ocean of divi little bear resorts because yeah. he's the head chef of the entire resort how long have you been working here at divi i've been with divi for almost nine years started off in 2015. okay you said you came in as a sous chef yeah i started as a sous chef okay so for those of us that that don't necessarily know the lingo in restaurant yeah um, what does the sous chef do? Okay, so basically the sous chef is the right hand of the executive chef, which is in charge of um, making sure the team is, is running smoothly, um, making sure all the events and all the parties and functions are being communicated accordingly with the staff, mm -hmm. as well as the party which is holding the event. Um, the sous chef is uh, in charge of making sure the back of the house runs smoothly. Uh, let's say the, the HACCP. Um, Regulations are kept met. Correct. Yeah. The temperature logs, mm -hmm. making sure the schedules are out in time, uh, the vacation requests for all the staff. So basically everything apart from the admin, okay. admin part. Okay. So then a sous chef then executive chef yeah the executive chef is the one overseeing everything mm. making sure that the whole operation is running smoothly making sure the menus uh, have been rolled out uh, making sure the food cost is at a certain percent okay uh, making sure uh, meetings have been uh, taken care of so basically the higher level of chef that you are um, you still got to kind of take a step back from the actual cooking. So you're Correct. more overseeing yes. and make sure things are done. Exactly. The executive chef is basically overseeing all the menus, tasting, making sure the menu is running the way to his standard, mm -hmm. uh, making sure that um, everyone is in line, okay. basically. Okay. So then here at DV, then you have the three... Three restaurants, is it? Or is no, it? we have six restaurants. Oh, I was far off. Yeah. <laughs> this, so you are in control of the six restaurants. So then what is the style, the cuisine style? The different of, cuisines? Yes. Okay, so here at Pure Ocean, which is our main restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, here it's our high-end restaurant, which we have more fine dining. Okay. So this restaurant is based on, I would say, a fusion. We have some Italian, we have some French uh, techniques, we have uh, some uh, Mexican. We have a little bit of everything in pure ocean. Then when you go to the shack, which is uh, out, out, outdoor dining, mm -hmm. that's the sh uh, Mexican concept. So you get your fajitas, your quesadillas, tacos, everything that has to do with Mexican. Gizmos, which is further down, is also a beachside dining. Okay. That's uh, more Americanized. It's more like burgers, hot dogs, hot dogs um, you know, uh, steaks on the grill, more fast food. Everything needs to go out quickly. Yeah. Uh, sea Breeze is also a poolside, beachside dining, and there we serve lunch and dinner. Okay. It's uh, at night we do Italian, mm -hmm. uh, which we have uh, also a lava rock concept. So basically, it's a hot rock. It's a lava rock. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and you get your protein served raw, and you cook it to your style. Okay. So if you want it medium rare, medium, medium well, it's up to you. Okay. Yeah, you, of course, you need to know more or less your temperature. What you're doing, so yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, in the evening, and in the, for the lunch, we have basically the same as gizmos, Americanized. Uh, burger styles, uh, chicken roti, uh, curry chicken, mm. a bit more Caribbean flavor. Uh, we have the slice, which is a uh, pizzeria, mm -hmm. which is only pizzas. Uh, we have mix, which is our latest um, addition to DV. Okay. It's on the rooftop. Okay, yes. Yeah, so there is a more, um, more of the view. You get to see a nice, you have a nice view. You have more... Um, exotic cocktails okay more exotic hors d'oeuvres you have a uh, pairing um, a lot of um, smoking going on let's say when i say smoke i mean the the cocktails you get to be we, we smoke them oh, okay yeah we have the food which has also been smoked 
So it's a nice experience. Okay, so what you're saying is I need to go visit the mix yes, to you see, do. experience yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, and so we have, we're gonna go experience that. We have also uh, Amsterdam Cafe, which is more like a Starbucks. It's grab and go. Oh, okay. Salads, uh, sandwiches, ice cream, mm -hmm. coffee, cappuccinos. Okay. That sort of, uh, yeah. I think a lot of us overlook a lot of the restaurants that you have here at DV. And how is the local um, attendance to the, to the restaurants here at DV? Do you get quite the inflow of local population? Yes. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of locals, especially for breakfast and for brunch, mm -hmm. especially on the weekends. We get slammed by locals. The locals, they love the breakfast. Why? Because... I've got a lot of I've, I've gotten a lot of feedback from locals saying why the breakfast is so good for them because it's apart from breakf any breakfast you have on the island. We okay. have a, a, a I have a wide we have a wide variety of uh, items that you can choose for breakfast. Uh, you have the omelet station, you have the hot station, you have the um, the cold station, you have basically everything you want for breakfast oh, okay we have a, so you should be able to find something that yeah, you like yeah yeah and the price isn't too bad it's 45 dollars for all you can eat oh you can okay and the brunch as well the brunch is every sunday it's between one and three mm -hmm. no sorry 12 and three so we have a lot of caribbean flavors a lot of uh caribbean um influence uh also hot cold salads desserts soups so many things <laughs> yeah live station as well omelet station so yeah okay. yeah so many things all right so then with all the restaurants that you oversee here on property what is your favorite thing on the menu you could choose any menu doesn't have to be pure ocean well i mean i love all my menus of but um, if i if i had to choose from one of the menus i would say pure ocean, pure ocean. why because it's the menu where um I can play more with my plates. Okay. I can play with the plating. I can make sure the plate is as I want it. I mean, all the restaurants, the plating technique yeah. is is apart from one, apart from the other. Mm -hmm. uh, but pure ocean is more. You have to be more involved in Find plating and, experience, and making so, sure yeah. the view. When you get your plate, you eat first with your eyes and then you taste. So okay. pure ocean, I would say for me is my um my baby yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're learning so much about divi little bay and we're learning so much about chef julio haynes we're gonna take a break we're gonna come back and then i'm gonna be eating some stuff for the sim martin flavors guys we'll be right back hello my people make sure you tune in to sit sip and chat every monday at 5 p.m on tv 15 and every wednesday at 8 30 p.m and make sure tune in to the late night show with Andrew Dick from Monday to Friday at 10 p.m. with a repeat in the afternoon for no reason. In the afternoon, the late night show at 3 p.m. Thank you, TV15. Thank you, TV15. Make sure to tune in. Make sure to tune in to the late night. And sit, sip, and chat. Late night. And we are back, my people, for my favorite part of these interviews. We get to have something tasty. Now, it's different. It's pretty. What, if, what, what do I have in front of me, Chef Ains? So what you have in front of you is a white chocolate mousse um, served with uh, berries, raspberries, blueberries, uh, walnut uh, granulate, and... Uh, mixed of blueberries and raspberries compote topped okay. with a leaf of mint okay top with a leaf of mint it looks pretty i don't want to disturb it <laughs> okay so we have the saint martin flavors coming up 
What does Pure Ocean have on the menu for St. Martin flavors? So for the St. Martin flavors, we have here on in Pure Ocean a three course. The first course is going to be a shrimp cocktail, which consists of um, uh, 16, 20 shrimps, which is the size. Uh, you have um, cocktail sauce. You have a wonton chip. Uh, Cold, no, not cold, sorry. The cocktail sauce, the wonton chip, the shrimps, and uh, tangy, slight hint of the cocktail sauce has a, has a little tangy flavor to it. Okay. So that's the first course. The second course would be uh, salmon, salmon filet, which has uh, carrot ginger broth, uh, salmon filet, Roasted uh, baby potatoes, blue shell mussels, cassava chip, and alfalfa sprout. Oh, wow. And then the dessert, as I just mentioned, is the white chocolate mousse topped with uh, wild exotic berries. Tasty. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. If nothing else, people, come for this. If you like chocolate and yes. sweet, and white chocolate and the fruits make it even more like it adds like a burst of flavor mm -hmm. with it yeah it's very good glad you're enjoying mm -hmm. i don't think we have anything else to sit on oh you could watch me eat <laughs> because we got nothing else more to say chef is there anything about dv little bit that you would want the people of St. Martin or anyone watching because YouTube, we go back beyond St. Martin, that you want persons to know about the restaurants here at DV Little Bay Resort? Uh, well, what can I say? Um, DV has a lot to offer, not only to our um, overseas guests, but also to our locals. Uh, we want our locals to know that um, uh, we, we're thinking on them. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a special price on locals, especially um, with uh, groups. Okay. Also, if if we have any special events that the locals would want to do with us, we can always um, always work out a, a nice a nice prize for our locals. Uh, we have a lot of a lot of Caribbean flavors, which I know us as locals we love. So we have a lot of. Uh, local caribbean flavors that we uh, would want them to try and um, yeah just come to dv uh, if you don't want to just come to dine you can also have a uh spend the day because mm -hmm. we also do day pass okay. which uh which is around if i'm not mistaken it should be 82 dollars or less okay yeah this consists of a uh, day you get access to the pool you get um you get a limited menu which you can choose from uh for food and also drinks and basically you can come and enjoy, enjoy. awesome awesome and for persons that are thinking about the chef field the culinary field as their chosen educational field what do you have to say to the person that is watching this that is unsure that doesn't quite know where they fit in into that what would you suggest to them I would say those who would want to follow the the culinary field go for it because it's 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 like a it's like a ticket uh, you you can travel the world with that um, with with your experience as a chef uh, you get a lot of benefits um, compensation is pretty good I must say yeah it's 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 a, it opens a lot of doors. It opened a lot of doors for me and a lot of chefs I know I worked with mm -hmm. also they they started from zero and now they're big chefs they travel the world uh, they see a lot of famous people they they do a lot of nice events so it's it's a pretty good career to choose I must say okay. yeah well you heard it here from Mr. Sh some Mr. <laughs> from Chef Julio Haynes right here at DV Little Bay Resort 
Thank you so much for your time. Anytime. Especially because I know today you have a busy day. Yeah, so I appreciate yeah. you making time for us. I appreciate this. Yes. It's very tasty. I'm glad you're enjoying. People watch it. it. You could be jealous if you like. It's okay. I'll, I'll take that. Guys, this has been another episode of Sit, Sip and Chat. Thank you so much for being here with us. And again, remember, St. Martin Flavors happens from November 1st all the way to November 30th. Divi Little Bay Resort, Pure Ocean is one of the restaurants taking part in this event. So definitely make sure that you come, you check it out, you support the initiative. When you pass through, let them know you heard about it right here on Sit, Sip and Chat. If the chef has a moment, ask for Chef Haynes. Let him know that you saw him here. Congratulate him on his endeavors through life from sous chef to here. And my people, until the next one, have a good day.